And back here at home, the budget battle in Washington continues. Lawmakers managed to delay a government shutdown once again yesterday when the House passed a three-week extension of the federal budget. But what happens when the clock runs out of time? Well, joining me now with reaction, Republican Congresswoman uh, Michelle Bachman, Democratic Congressman Anthony Weiner. All right, Congressman, here's why we're in this position. And this is just a fact. You had both houses of Congress last year, run by the Democrats. You had the White House. You guys didn't pass a budget. It's your responsibility. You should have passed the budget. You didn't pass the budget. So now we find ourselves at this impasse. And all the Democrats are offering is $4.5 in cuts. We have a $1.65 trillion deficit this year after nearly $3 trillion of Obama debt in his first two years. And we also have, uh, you know, $3.7 trillion budget. You can't find more than $4.5 billion a cut? Well, frankly, I mean, let's get the history right. The, uh, the Bush administration drove the economy into a cliff, and we've been digging out ever since. Blah, blah, blah. And it's true. Hey, it's let's true. talk about it's this It's true. It's true. Well, let me answer the question. It's true. We also did add a trillion dollars of additional debt and deficit by giving tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires, something many of us opposed. But the fact is, if you look at the president's budget you proposal, you mean that Obama reduces, signed the bill that Obama, it, the, the bill it, that Obama went along with extending it, that tax cut, that one. Okay. It, well, I understand, but you're asking my, my position is I don't support taxes for millionaires and billionaires. Do you? Yes. Well, you got to pay I for them somehow. And you've yet, everybody. and you've yet, well, that's actually Every not true American. because in, well, you apparently don't believe that we should fix the alternative minimum tax because that's something the Democratic budget proposal does. Hey, hey. Now, that costs a little bit of money. Wait, wait, and the whoa, question whoa, 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 is, you don't get that. Yeah. Wait, Congressman, it's yeah. not we don't have a revenue problem. You guys spend too much of our money. Stop spending it recklessly. That's the answer, Congressman. Well, one of the ways that we spend money is giving it to billionaires and billionaires. No, the, the millionaires and billionaires I, I that you're you deriding that. here are the ones that the top 10 percent pay 75 percent of the bill, and then you want to hit them over the head with a baseball they bat. They don't. No, there's, there's no doubt about it. Some people believe in tax cuts for billionaires. You're one of them. I'm nope. saying you got to pay for it somehow. Congressman, How are you going to pay for it? I believe it? in tax cuts for everybody. I want people like you to stop irresponsibly spending all to... hard-earned money. I live in New York. 55% of my income, sir, goes to taxes, and you want more money. I don't want to give you any more money. Start I managing something. the money you, you have. You want tax cuts. Look, you, you make a lot of money. You want tax cuts, but you've got to pay for, for it everybody. Somehow. Now, maybe what we should do, maybe what we should do is have cuts in defense, or maybe we should do Michelle Bachman's plan to cut Medicare and cut veterans. This is about oh, how you make these decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Congresswoman, weigh in. I'm, I'm done. Well, you know, one of the first things Representative Weiner said is that President Obama inherited a mess. Well, let's look at it. The last year that the Republicans had a budget resolution, the deficit was under $161 billion. Just last month under President Obama, the deficit was $223 billion. So the president has been creating more debt than anyone has ever seen before. So there is no comparison. When you look at uh, tax cuts for millionaires, and billionaires. I don't think that they're getting a great deal right now because the top 1% of all income earners in this country are paying over 40% of all of the taxes to the federal government. So his facts are wrong on their face. All right, let me, let me, well, I, I, no, 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 let me just, I, Congressman, hang on. I asked the questions. I asked you the initial question. I asked you, where you the sure Democrats two on one will is only cut? Is Sean. Here's my point. <laughs> $3.7 billion. We have nearly $5 trillion now accumulated Obama debt. $5 trillion. You tell me how much you're willing to cut out of the budget. Well, let me ask you something. Is it accumulated Obama oh, debt when, when President Bush left office? There were 700,000 jobs lost that month. There Listen, were more private sector jobs created under President Obama that's in a his lie. two years than. That's a lie. It, it's absolutely fact. It's absolutely that's fact. That's not true. Two, right, well, more first private well, sector let me give jobs you another created number. under Obama than under eight I know years you're a Democrat, of President, and I know you're President Bush. I know you're a bitter partisan, but in the month of February. No, I'm if just you, a partisan. Let me finish. You're, I don't you're see, a, do a I look partisan bitter? hack. Stop it. In the month of February, our deficit was. Sean. Our deficit it's almost was St. Patrick's Day. You're going to call me names? Yes. Our deficit was $223,000 for the month. In 2007, uh, if, if we're looking at real dollars and real money, we're looking, we paid less in a year than we did for the month of February. Well, look, I will tell you this, that the deficit right now comes from three places. One, unfunded wars. Million. 
Two, enormous numbers of jobs that, that have been lost, and that's a tragedy that President Bush drove us into this cliff. And three, tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires. Yeah. Now, okay. I've given you one third of it right <laughs> off the top. All right, one third. All right, you know what, <laughs> Congresswoman Bachman, you notice I, I, George I Bush has been Congress out of office for nearly two and a half years. He can't get over it. Barack Obama's budgets, nearly $5 trillion in debt. He won't mention where he would cut. I'll ask you the what same you question. Mean, what do you mean he? Congressman, what I, that I, would be I, you. Uh, Congresswoman, he, where would you cut? You know, Sean, I had no idea that Representative Weiner was such a reader of fiction. He's a huge fiction reader because that's all of his numbers. I wanted to mention a Bachman, quote. I don't think you want to go there. I, wanted to I don't mention think you want to go there, Bachman. Sean, and, and, and if I could have the respect of, of speaking, um, on the day that Nancy Pelosi took the gavel in 2007, she said, we've dealt with historic deficits. And so now under her, the Congress was going to be different. And so she was planning to make sure we had no more deficits. That day, there was $8 trillion in deficit. The day that she gave up her gavel, thankfully, four years later, she did increase that deficit by $6 trillion. So she, she had taken us from $8 trillion in deficit to $14 trillion in deficit. We were going nowhere fast but over a cliff. Thank goodness John Boehner pulled that gavel out of her hand. Thank, thank goodness to the American people who gave him that gavel. All right, Congressman, I'll give you one last chance. I really want a specific answer because we're out of time. What would you cut and how much are you willing to cut in spending, sir? I think that, frankly, we do need to cut spending. I passed four Where? amendments to the... To, let me finish. I've passed four amendments that reduce spending by over $400 million. Michelle Bachman had none of them. And by the way, for her to make fun of me not knowing fact from fiction is a bit ironic, I'm to say cutter. the least. I I'm, believe, I'm a cutter. I'm a cutter. I know. You want to cut, you wanna cut Medicare. You want to cut, cut veteran spending. You, you want to cut air traffic controllers. You and I have different values. That's what this fight is about. I believe we do you have to cut... You don't think you're spending values. too much money? I agree with you. You don't think you're spending too much money, Congressman? You, you're talking about $400 million of a $3.7 trillion I believe, dollar budget? I believe when there are, there are millions of Americans not working because of the Bush decisions that we do have to take care of those people, and that adds costs, yep. no doubt about it. But well, we're paying less because we of health care. Like a you trillion in stimulus. Congressman, you're going to have to man up. You're going to have to, you know, you know you're going to you're gonna have to man up. You're going to have to sit at the table and put your pants Next on time, and, make and come it to this make realization. It. Barack Sean, Obama's president two and a half years. Sean, make it three on one money, next time. Yours. Make it three on one or four on one next time. I'm ready for will, you. Uh, <laughs> you're, 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 you're a star. Just go look in the mirror. I know you think that of yourself. But we got to run. I love these, I love these balanced debates. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, oh, that's what it tell is. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Let not your heart be troubled.